serving. Heavenly Father, we say thank you this morning. We agree with your scripture, Lord, uh, in Psalm 18, verse 1. We love you, Lord, our strength. Uh, we love you, O God. Uh, we love you, Father. You first loved us. Uh, even while we were yet sinners, uh, you commended your love for us that Christ died for the ungodly while we were still sinners. Thank you, Father, for your love. Uh, thank you, our rock, our fortress, our deliverer. Thank you, our shield, our horn of salvation, our stronghold. Uh, we are calling to you once again this morning for you alone are worthy of praise. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of salvation. We say thank you, Lord. We honor you. Psalm 18 verse 6 says, I called to the Lord in my distress and I cried to my God for help from his temple. He heard my voice and my cry reached his ears. Father, we thank you this morning that every time we've called to you in the place of distress, every time we've cried to you, our God, for help, you have always heard our our voice and our cry reached your ears and you answered us by fire. We are grateful this morning. Thank you, Father, that there is no time your children call unto you that you don't hear us, Father. We say thank you, Lord, through the lens of the blood of Jesus. All prayers are, are answered for Lord, all the promises of God are yea and amen in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Adonai. We worship you this morning. Psalm 18 verse 17 says, he rescued me from my powerful enemy and from those who hated me for they were too strong for me. Lord, we thank you that those who are too strong for us are not too strong for you. Thank you that you rescued us from our powerful enemy. Lord, the devil and his agents have no power over us for you've rescued us from them. Lord, you said in Colossians, oh God, 1 and 12, oh God, that you have translated us, oh God, out of the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of the son of your love. We have been rescued from our powerful enemy. Whatever oh God, the enemy would have done against us this morning. We return the glory to you that we have been delivered. We are candidates of deliverance. We thank you, Father. We worship you this morning. We honor you and we reverence your name. The Bible says in Psalm 18 verse 19 that God brought me out to a spacious place. He rescued me because he delighted in me. Let's thank him this morning that he has brought us to a large place, a spacious place. He rescued us from the limitations and the affliction and the oppression of the enemy and brought us to a spacious place, to a large place. He has rescued us because he delights in us. Our father delights in delivering us. He delights in helping us. He delights in lifting us up. He delights in demonstrating his power in our lives. Thank you this morning, father. We are grateful this morning that Lord, you have brought us to a large place, a spacious place where there is no limitation. There is no oppression. There is no restrictions. We have been delivered, oh God, into this spacious place where we can serve you and worship you with freedom. That we have the freedom, oh God, to worship you. We have the freedom, oh God, oh Rabbi Sanda, to rejoice in your presence. We are grateful. We are grateful. We are grateful, Father. Thank you, Almighty Father. He said in Psalm 18, 28, he said, Lord, you light my lamp. My God illuminates my darkness. Let's thank him this morning that God, I thank you that anywhere where there was darkness in my life, you have put your light there. God, you illuminate my darkness. Therefore, there is no darkness in my life, in my spouse, in my children, in my family, in my brothers and sisters in Christ. There is no darkness because Lord, you light my lamp. My God illuminates my darkness. God has not allowed us to dwell in darkness. Everywhere where there was darkness, he has brought his light. He says, Jesus is the light that shines in darkness and darkness could not comprehend it. Wherever the light of Jesus arrives, the darkness has to flee. Darkness has to flee. Anything that represents darkness in our lives this morning. Thank you, Father, that you light my lamp. Therefore, there is no darkness. The enemy has nowhere to function. He has nowhere to function. He has nowhere to function. He cannot perpetrate any evil against us this morning because God, you light my lamp. You have illuminated my darkness. Oh, Rabba Seketele Bakurabasi. Shanina Masekende le Bakoria Basanda Legado Sobregedila Mahanta. Lord, I thank you for light, for the light that is around us, all over us, inside of us, around us, Father, above, beneath, oh God, all over us. Your light shines, your light shines. The enemy has nowhere to hide, he has nowhere to perpetrate evil, for the light of God is shining. You light my lamp. 
You illuminate my darkness, Yahweh. You illuminate my darkness. You are that God. Thank you, Father. The light that shines in darkness uh, and darkness could not comprehend it. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. In Isaiah 42, verse 16, the Bible says, the Lord said, I will lead the blind by a way they did not know. I will guide them on paths they have not known. I will turn darkness to light in front of them and rough places into level ground. This is what I will do for them and I will not forsake them. I want us to thank him this morning and say, Lord, I thank you for leading me by a way that I didn't know. There are higher heights. There are greater dimensions. God wants to take us. We don't know the way, but he knows the way and he is leading us. He is leading us in a a higher dimension. He is leading us in greater light in a place that we didn't know. He is guiding us on paths we've not known before. Paths of victory, paths of great grace, paths of promotion, paths of increase, paths of enlargement, paths that bring joy, paths that bring divine testimonies and great miracle signs and wonders. He said, I will turn darkness to light in front of them and rough places into level ground. Father, thank you that the darkness in front of me has turned to light. Therefore, I cannot stumble. I cannot fall. I cannot be lost. I cannot fail. I cannot fail. I cannot be frustrated because the light of God is in front of me. He has turned the darkness to light in front of me. I cannot be confused and confounded and flabbergasted. Instead, oh Lord, I have revelation. I have revelation. I have insight. I have that apocalypsis, that understanding of the times because God has turned my darkness to light in front of me. I am blessed this morning uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, according to your word, Father God. Uh, according to your word, uh, in Isaiah 42, 18, uh, for Isaiah 42, 16, uh, you have turned our darkness to light uh, in front of us, O oh God. Uh, and the rough places you have turned into level ground. Uh, we cannot struggle because the ground has become level for us. Uh, you say, this is what I will do for them. And I will not forsake them. Thank you that you are doing all this for us, oh God, for your name's sake. You will not forsake us. We are grateful this morning, O oh God. Thank you, O oh God, for lighting our lamp and illuminating our darkness. Thank you, Father. We worship you. We honor you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Psalm 1829, the Bible says, With you, I can attack a barrier. This is the HCSB translation. With you, I can attack a barrier. And with my God, I can leap over a wall. Whatever the barriers that Satan has put in our path, whatever the barriers Satan has put in your family, uh, you know, in front of your family members, in front of our brothers and sisters in Christ, the Bible says with you, I can attack a barrier. Let's begin to attack every barrier that is standing between us and divine destiny. Let's attack the barriers uh, standing between us and divine health, uh, barriers between us and divine lifting, barriers between us and the center of divine destiny. Father, whatever barriers, uh, whatever hindrances uh, the enemy has put in our way. This morning, in the name of Jesus, we attack that barrier. We destroy that barrier. That barrier is destroyed uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, that satanic roadblock is destroyed this morning. The satanic roadblock uh, designed to hinder, to stop us from moving to the next level, to stop us from seeing, oh God, uh, to stop us from, oh God, uh, walking in the dimensions of the spirit that you ordained for us. Uh, whatever satanic barrier this morning, we come against you 
in the name of Jesus. Maria gado sombregete le bakoria basia. Ragado sombregete le bakoria masanda. Ligado sufredo skaba legado si. Oria makoria mazeke to da bregete lo bakoria masanda. Legado sombregete. Whatever barrier, oh God. Oh Rama Santa la basia. Barriers, oh God, that hinder the furtherance of the gospel. Barriers that hinder the propagation of the gospel. Barriers that hinder growth of the body of Christ. Father God, we come against them in Jesus' name. We attack those barriers this morning in the name above all names. And with the force of heaven, with the forces of the armies of heaven, we destroy those barriers this morning. They are destroyed. Barriers to success. Barriers to victory, barriers to increase, barriers to enlargement, barriers to peace, uh, barriers to joy, uh, barriers to healing, uh, barriers to deliverance. Uh, we destroyed them this morning uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, oh, we refuse to be hindered. Uh, we refuse to be hindered. Uh, we refuse to be delayed. Uh, whatever the satanic roadblock, Father God, uh, we locate it right now in the realm of the spirit uh, and we attack that hindrance. Uh, we attack it. We come against it in the name of Jesus. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God. They destroy satanic barriers, satanic strongholds. Whatever is the barrier, let the barrier be crushed this morning. Let the barrier break this morning. Let the barrier fall this morning. Let the barrier be destroyed by fire this morning. Let the fire of God completely consume that barrier in the name of Jesus. Whatever is stopping our children, whatever Whatever is stopping our family members, whatever is stopping the body of Christ from entering the new season, from getting into the new level that God ordained for them, Father, we destroy the hindrance, we destroy the barrier. By my God, I can attack a barrier and be victorious in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. He said, with my God, I can leap over a wall. Father, whatever is the wall, we receive great grace this morning and we leap over that wall. Whatever is the wall, our Lord, whatever they've said is the reason why we can't do A, B, and C. This morning, in the realm of the spirit, we leap against that wall and we declare it shall come to manifestation in the natural realm. In the name of Jesus, we leap over that wall, but walls of delay, walls, oh God, of satanic delay. We leap over them this morning. Walls of satanic frustration and restriction. We leap over them this morning. Whatever is the reason that we can't do A, B, and C, Father Lord, we leap over that wall. Whatever is the reason why they have said we can't do it, we leap over that wall. We pray for every young person, every child, those in school, those in the academic world, oh God, whatever walls have been set before them, oh God. We declare this morning they leap over that wall. They leap over that wall, over that exam, over that assignment, over that test, over Lord, whatever that assessment is. They leap over that wall. We all leap over that wall in the name of Jesus. Father, in all the dimensions of our lives, we leap over the wall. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We worship you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Psalm 18 verse 36. I'm still reading HCSB translation. The Bible says, You widen a place beneath me for my steps and my ankles do not give way. In other words, if the path where you were walking was really small so that there was a risk of you falling over the edge, the Lord himself widens that path. He makes that place large so that you cannot miss your step. You cannot fall over. You cannot have an accidental falling over. Let's begin to ask God, Father, every place where I set my foot, widen that place beneath me so that, Lord, I will not fall over in the name of Jesus. Widen that place, Adonai. Widen that place so that I will always be sure-footed and steady in that place. Nothing will work against me. Nothing will cause me to fall. Nothing will delay me. Nothing will hinder me. 
in the name of Jesus. Lord, widen, widen the place underneath my feet. Lord, oh God, make it impossible for me to fail. Make it impossible for me to fall by your special grace, oh God. Widen the place beneath for my steps so that my steps will never miss the way. In the name of Jesus, make it impossible for me to fail. Maleka sokotoria bakosa balaka talaba. Oria basendele bakuria masandala. Legado so bregedele bakuria basi andere bosia. Oria gado so bregedila makoria masanda. Ligado so fregedula bredosia. Uria mama kora basi kandolo bredosia. In the name of Jesus, uh, Father, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. You are worthy to be praised, O God. Uh, we thank you for doing all this for your name's sake, O God. Uh, helping us, O God. Uh, making a way for us, O God. Uh, blessing us, O God. Uh, lifting us up, O God. Uh, that it is well with us. Uh, we will not fall. We will not fall. In Jesus' mighty name name we pray. Amen. First Kings 17 verse 6. I'm reading in the Amplified Bible version. It's talking about prophet Elijah. It says, and the ravens brought him bread and meat in the morning and bread and meat in the evening. And he would drink from the brook. Ravens brought him his breakfast and they brought him his dinner. And you know, when I, I did a bit of research about ravens yesterday, I read that, you know, the fact that these ravens were providing uh, breakfast and dinner for Elijah was amazing. Because one thing that is known about the ravens is that, as number one, they, they are considered to be an unclean bird, according to Leviticus eleven fifteen and Deuteronomy fourteen fourteen. And we know that God's children had been instructed not to eat anything unclean. So God took what was unclean and even sanctified it and used it to provide food for Elijah. For me, that means whether somebody is a believer or not a believer, God will still use them as my destiny helper. So the first prayer point I want us to pray is this, is that God raise me up helpers of destiny in all the different realms of planet earth. Lord, whether they believe in God or they don't, whoever they are, Lord, you are able to use them to be a blessing to me and to enable me to fulfill my destiny here on planet earth. So let's lift up our voices and pray. Father God, we thank you, Lord, that you are able to send us help from unlikely sources. Father, whether they are believers or they are not believers, Father, they are able to help us this morning, oh God, raise up, oh God, people who will help us in the morning people who will help us in the evening throughout our day father we receive divine help even from those people lord that are least likely expected to help a christian in the mighty name of jesus thank you father whether they are in the occult they will still help us whether they don't believe in god or they believe in god they will still help us they will help our families and our children in jesus name we pray amen amen the other thing I was reading about ravens is that ravens, apparently, as soon as they find their food, they eat it straight away. Anything they find, they eat straight away. So it is interesting that the raven who normally greedily gobbles up the food they get could keep the food in its mouth without eating it and carry it for Elijah. So in this case, the raven even had to suppress its own appetite to obey the will of God. Even though it normally gobbles up its food first time around, as soon as it gets food, it eats half of it and then it stores the half of it for later for itself. But in this case, the ravens didn't eat that food. They took it to Elijah. They had to go against their natural nature. They had to subdue their own desires in order to provide Elijah with his food. I want us to pray that Father God, even if they call somebody greedy, that person will be generous with me and my household. Even if that person is called stingy, that person will be generous with us. Even if they say they are evil, they are going to be kind to us. Father God, people are going to be going contrary to their nature to support us and to help us in the name of Jesus. 
Lift up your voice and pray. Father God, we are asking you for unlikely destiny helpers. Even those who are stingy and greedy and mean, they are going to be generous and kind and lovely towards us in the name of Jesus. Father, they will say this person's never helped nobody, but they're going to help us in the name of Jesus. They will say, oh my goodness, that person is so wicked. How could they even do this for you? Lord, we thank you for the testimony that you are touching hearts of people who are even unlikely to help us, but you're touching their hearts and they're helping us in the name of Jesus. Oh, Rabba Sakata, even the scavengers are going to be helping us. Even those who normally gobble up everything and eat everything with greed, they are going to have a leftover for us. They are going to be helping us in the name of Jesus. Oria mama ma sekende le bradosia Oria ma koria ma sekende le bradosia ndarabosia la kaka kaka boroko dosia Oria ma koria ma sekende le bradosia in the name of Jesus, uh, Father, we ask for that help uh, from those unlikely places. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, we will receive our help from those ravens, uh, from those least unlikely sources. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, the greedy will become generous. Uh, the selfish will become helpful and generous. Uh, they will carry our needs uh, on their own shoulders. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, the wicked will become good to us uh, and our household and the body of Christ. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Psalm 18 verses 44 and 45, I'm reading the HCSB translation. It says, foreigners submit to me grudgingly. As soon as they hear, they obey me. Foreigners lose heart and come trembling from their fortifications. In other words, what David received was that people just submitted to him, whether they liked it or not. They just submitted. They just submitted. They lost heart and they came trembling. They had, they lost their heart to oppose him. Let's be begin to ask that Father God, whoever is supposed to submit to us, they will do it. Even if they are doing it grudgingly, they are still going to do it. Whoever is supposed to stop fighting against us, they will lose heart and they will come trembling from their fortifications. All the agents of Satan who had been resisting God's children, they are going to submit to us. As soon as they hear us, they will obey us. They will lose heart and come trembling from their fortifications. San Brodosia, Oria Mama Macoria Basante Lebradosia, Una di Gadula Mahan de Leba Sicada, Legado Socotoria Bababa Seke de Lebradosia, Oria Casan Brega de Leba Corobosia, Lagado Son Brega de Leba Coria Basante Lebradosia, O San Bragadolo Brega de Seke de la Bacora Basia, Lanina Nina Masante Leba Robosia, Masaca de la Bacoria Masacan de Lebradosia, Mazuca de la Brado Socoria Masente Lebaya, in the name of Jesus, they are going to submit to us. Uh, Father, in every sphere of influence that you have given us, uh, where people are supposed to submit to our voice and our ideas, uh, they will do it uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Nobody will stand against us, oh God, uh, in the places where they are supposed to submit, they will submit uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Yes, Lord. Amen. Going back to um, that first King 17, 6, we see that Elijah was at a weak point, but the ravens blessed him instead of being a problem for him. We know that these ravens, they have a strange nature. In Proverbs 30, 17, it says, The eye that makes fun of a father and hates to obey a mother, will be plucked out by ravens in the valley and eaten by young vultures. So one of the qualities of ravens is that they've been known to pluck out the eyeballs of their prey, you know, even before the prey dies. So if they see a prey that's been weakened, they come and pluck out their eyes even while they're still alive. Spiritually, we think about Elijah. He was at a point where he was at a low point. He was depressed. He was overwhelmed, you know, with the threats of Jezebel. And yet the raven couldn't pluck out his eye, but instead became a messenger of good things for him. I want us to pray that, Father, even the day when I'm at my low point, when I'm weak, oh God, 
Make it impossible for the enemy to take advantage of my weakness. Even the day I feel discouraged and depressed, make it impossible for the enemy to pluck out my eye. The evil ravens, the spiritual ravens will not destroy me. They will not take out my spiritual sight. Even the day when I'm spiritually weak, even the day when I'm weaker, may you become my strength. Make it impossible for the enemy to take advantage of my weakness. Father, even when any one of us is overwhelmed, when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Let us still be preserved and protected under the mighty wings of Almighty God. In the name of Jesus, they will not pluck out our eyes in the name of Jesus. Masoko do do breke dele bakora basia. Masante le barobosia. Makasanta la barabosia. In Jesus' mighty name, we thank you, Father. Deliver us, Lord, at every point in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. The next prayer I want us to pray will be based on um, Psalm 57, 6. It's based on a dream that I had overnight and I just want to quickly share it with us. So in this dream, I saw myself in this place with like a lot, a lot of children. It was almost like a children's home, you know, where children were, were being looked after. And then in that place, there was this person who was pretending to be one of the people who is going to take care of the children. This man, you know, but what this man had was an agenda to destroy the children, you know, to kill every one of us who was in that place. So I, in the dream, I went over across to another room within the building. And when I got to that room, that person came over to me. And as they were coming over, I was hearing in the spirit, this person is not coming for good, you know, so be ready and be prepared to return back to them what they are trying to give to you. And when this person got to me, they pretended that they had a bottle of water. And they, they pretended that this was water and they were like, oh, get some splashes of water. But really, as they were doing that, I was hearing it's not water. It's an accelerant. So I stepped back and took the water, that so-called water for them and poured it over them instead. What they had behind them was a lighter. They were planning to pour this accelerant on me and, and, and set it on fire. So anyway, I stepped out and took that bottle and poured it over them instead. And that accelerant that they had planned for me and to set the place on fire, it returned to them. And as I was coming out of the room, I noticed that they had left like dynamite outside that they were trying to trigger. But as, as they were trying to do that, I moved all the kids outside and instead the building exploded with them, with none of us instead. So I want us to pray Psalm 57 verse 6. It says, they prepared a net for my steps. I was despondent. They dug a pit ahead of me, but they fell into it. That whatever traps that the enemy would set for any of us or any of the children in our care, you know, any of our brothers and sisters in Christ, whatever evil the enemy wants to do for us. We send it back to them. They will fall into their own pits. Every evil fire they want to set, it will consume them and not us. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you because you are the one who rescues your children. Every net that they prepared for our steps, 
uh, Father, they will fall into that net. Uh, every pit they dug ahead of us, they will fall into that pit. Uh, according to Psalm 57, verse 6. Masokotoria bababakoria basanda. Uria makoria masegete de bregete. Whatever been done against your children, Father, in the name of Jesus, uh, it will return on the heads of the sender. It will return on the heads of the sender sevenfold. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, whatever evil, Lord, uh, that have been sent against us, uh, every agent of Lucifer sent against any one of us, sent against the children in our care, sent against the body of Christ, Father. We return it on their own heads. Uh, the pit they dug, uh, they will fall into their own pit. Uh, we remain protected uh, in the secret place of the Most High, under the shadow of the Almighty. Mashaka dolo baroko sanda reke keke boroko siya masokondoria baba baba in the name of Jesus Father we thank you for rescuing us in the precious name of Jesus in Jesus name we pray Psalm fifty seven verse seven the Bible says my heart is confident God my heart is confident I will sing. I will sing praises. Wake up my soul. Wake up harp and lyre. I will wake up the dawn. I will praise you, Lord, among the peoples. I will sing praises to you among the nations. For your faithful love is as high as the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches the clouds. God be exalted above the heavens. Let your glory be over the whole earth. Let's begin to bless the Lord. My heart is confident, God. I am confident that you are my deliverer. You are the one who rescues me. You are my helper. I am confident. Oh God, my heart is confident. I will sing this morning. Wake up my soul, my mind, my will, and my emotions. Wake up and praise God this morning. I will wake up the dawn. Let the dawn hear my voice this morning. Let the break of the new day hear my voice of praise unto Yahweh, the God who is self-existent, whom nobody created. I will praise El Elyon, the possessor of the the heavens and the earth. I will praise the one who is high and lifted up. I will praise El Shaddai, the double-breasted God who is more than enough to meet my needs. I will praise him, the one who is Jehovah Nisi, my banner of victory. I will praise Jehovah Shalom, the Lord, my peace. I will praise El Giboa, the strong and mighty man of war. I will praise Jehovah Saboeth, the God of war. Thank you, Father. I worship you this morning. I honor you this morning. You are my peace. You are my joy. I receive joy in your presence. I am overwhelmed by your goodness and by your mercy. I thank you this morning. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory fill the whole earth. For great are you, Lord, and you are greatly to be praised. Our soul rejoices in you. Our heart rejoices in you. We find peace and joy and fulfillment in your presence. In the name of Jesus, Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.